glass tube. Hey, it's only been five months. No big deal. Just, I mean, I was on, I mean, for you guys, I was probably gone for like 30 seconds if you just started watching my videos. Um, how is everyone? It's been a long time. I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, yeah, it is December 12th, 2016. Um, I am procrastinating, studying for finals, final, um, and reviewing a paper, but mm, that's future self. Future self will deal with that. Um, and I am here with a whip update, life update, update. We'll go with that. Update. Um, wow. I, I don't even know. We're five months. How do you sum up five months in a reasonable amount of time? Um, so I think last time I left you was a finished video. Uh, and I was saying how I was going to get Marigold done. I was going to do a finished video. It was going to be great. Well, I finished it. In time for our uh, county fair in Illinois. Yes, I'm in Colorado. That's a whole thing. Um, I did get it finished. And it did really well. Um, I did win the category. Yay! Uh, the ribbon's over there. I got a cool, I got a special award. Yes, it says special. Um, I mean, I could just do this. It's terrifying. See that yellow thing? Yeah. That's my bookshelf. Terrifying. Um... As I drop the iPad. Anyway, so that did really well. Um, I also entered the bookshelf. This was back in July, in case anyone's keeping tabs of where we're at. Um, I would that one got second to my first one, so that was cool. Um, I don't know. I don't really care about this. Like, not my thing. I don't like winning things. I just like people seeing it, and it was really beaded and really cool. Um, the frame is awesome. I think I posted a picture of it in one of the groups. I'm assuming it was Stitch Mania. Maybe it was Cross Stitch and Discuss. I don't know. I don't remember. That was back in July. I can't remember what I did last week. Um, but I'll, I'll be uh, on my way back to Illinois here several days from now. And I can do a finished video at my house in Illinois and show you some other cool stuff. Um, that I've done that's hanging around my parents' house. So you'll get to see that, but it's done. I did finish it. It was intense. Um, but I have not finished anything since then. It was the last finish I think I've had. And if I did finish something, it wasn't enough that I remember. Um, then I went home to Illinois. That was fun, obviously, because I was at the fair. Uh, and bought out part of Designer's Desk, um, my store, my LNS in Illinois. Uh, they are closing, which is unfortunate. Um, I bought out the place because they were going to be closed in September. But they're still open. So that's dangerous. Um, so I'll probably head back there. I need to go to get a few more things, finish up some projects that I'll show you here shortly. Uh... But holy Mira Batman is all I'm going to say. I am not going to put that haul in this video. Um, I'm not showing you this floor. It. I went looking for projects to bring to Illinois and I had to dig them out. And They're not used to videos anymore. Uh, stuff's everywhere is the moral of that story. Um, you know how when you clean, it gets worse before it gets better? That's what we're going with. Uh, yeah. And then semester started. After I got back, obviously. Semester started. Uh, last fall semester as an undergrad. Terrifying. Um, for those college people out there that care. I was taking my senior capstone, which was cool. It was great. Um... Money and elections and democracy. Fitting much. Uh, a couple of ma uh, management class, IR, meh. But it was tough. Uh, I'm not going to lie about that. That was this semester is probably, I would say, the hardest semester I've had. 
Um, and I'm happy it's almost done. Um, it's dragged on long enough, says me. So anyways, I did get some stitching done. Not an, I just never, it was either record a video or stitch, or read, or knit. Yeah, that's coming up. Uh, so I didn't really record, and that's my bad. Um, I also need to get a new camera because this iPad is so grainy, it's ridiculous. At least it looks that way to me. So anyways, um, I also, in the me in this interim, was able, I ended up scoring, I haven't even seen it, that's the best part, um, a lovely older lady, um, was moving out of a house into assisted living, I'm not really sure of the situation, this is through a friend of mine, so I got the very abbreviated story, uh, and needed to get rid of her de-stash, get rid of some things in her apartment so that she could move out. And she had an entire room of cross-stitch stuff. And I'm gonna say there are, there's a lot of floss, there is a ton of fabric, beads, and it's all organized, according to my mom, who... It's all in Illinois, so we'll probably do a video going through that. I do have some of it here, um, just stuff I've needed for other projects. Speaking of that, I forgot one, but... That's what free two videos are for. Um, where is that? I don't even know where I put that project. That's how many projects I have. Uh, anywho, so mega haul there. So we we'll probably get a video on that when I get home and go through it. Cause I again, I haven't seen it. No idea what it looks like. All I know is it sounds amazing. Uh. Got plenty of other haul that came in, and it's around here somewhere, so you're going to get it as you go. Except for a few things. And I've been talking for seven minutes and haven't shown a single stitching thing. So. I'm not going to show everything that I've worked on, because we'd be here forever. We still will. My, my videos are pretty long, usually. Um, but, I'll show you the stuff that I have handy. And a couple, a little bit of a haul, I guess. The really small version. But without further ado. So, in Cross Stitch, it's fun. There we go. Forgot the group name. You know I haven't been stitching one. Uh, we, I joined the Stitch What's uh, school group thing. I don't know what it's called. Sorry. Um... And I got sorted into Rhodes Claw, if you don't know what it is. It's kind of like a Harry Potter sort of themed stitching... I don't even know. Fun? It, I mean, that's really all it is. It's fun. Um, sorted into houses similar to the ones in Harry Potter, if you know all that kind of stuff. Um, and I went started off strong until semester just... So I haven't, I haven't been participating. So sorry. School. It's all, it's all school, so it's all my teacher's fault. Anyways. So we are working on the house crest challenge, or I was, and I will be, now that I'm so close to being done. So I'm, like I said, I'm in Rhodes Claw, which is weird because I'm a Hufflepuff, but I'm also right on the cusp. So. That's what So, from a distance, since no one can copy that, that's kind of what it's going to look like. And the fun part about it is you get points for creativity for changing up the pattern, um, making it your own, and I have most definitely done that. Um, so, here is... Is that showing up? Mm, maybe. Anyways, well, here's what I have so far. This is where I stopped. Um, what I am doing, I need to get better lighting in this room. So, I'm adding stripes, both up and down, and some of the bigger banners. This stuff, which is really hard to see, um, when I'm back in Illinois, I will be able to use my mom's newer iPad, hopefully. Um, anyways... You'll be able to see it then, but this border 
is uh, Krennic. It is super duper sparkly. Um, let's see what we got here. It is 011HL number 4 braid. It's kind of what it looks like. It's not that blue. It's definitely silver. But that's right. Um, so that's the one change. The stripes are changed. It changes the colors in here. This lovely area is actually going to be done in weeks because of that mega haul that I got. She had a bunch of weeks dye works in there as well. Let's get the right colors. So I'm using amber for part of it. And Sweet Potato for the bottom banner. So I added in some variegation. And I tried to get beads, now that I'm crooked, there we go. Um, I tried to get beads, somehow I got sent the wrong ones. So I had to find those because they need to be the petites because this is the world's tiniest fabric. Not, um, not even. It's like 22 count. But if I'm going to use beads, they need to be tiny. Um, yeah, so pretty much that's my house crust. That needs to be done sooner rather than later for the challenge. So that will be my focus probably until the end of the year, until it's done. And I have a really cool idea to finish it, but I'm not telling yet. So, uh, I have a handy dandy list, not my notebook. It's being used in my knitting project. Alright, first one, done. Um, just because it's next, I got this project from my old boss uh, for Christmas last year and it's a Lizzie Kate and it's called Time for God. Um, I started this in Mania. This is one of my Mania starts and I needed something small to work on because I needed to stitch or I was going to go insane. So I got some more done. So now we're ship god. Yeah. But before I just had P, and then G, and then O, I think. Yeah, and the green, because we needed some color. So this is on a Weeks Dye Works, uh, if I, I think I used to call it for. I should really know this. I used to have this all written down. Remember when I used to be organized? Not anymore. What did I do with it? Oh! Uh, 30 count cappuccino over dyed linen by Weeks Dye Works. Um, so that one got a little bit of work, not a lot. That was a while ago, too. Um, let's see what else we got. We're gonna cross this off. Angel of Love. Alright. So this one, again, I haven't gotten to the ones I've worked on. They're like weirdly on the bottom of the list. But I did manage to work a very small amount on Angel of Love because everyone else was working on it and I felt left out. And then Emily C. finished hers way back when. And I had to work on it. So I did. So <laughs> there we are. That's my angel of love. There's Bing Bong. Isn't he cute? With uh, my snag nabbit, because I've been eating that. And you can tell I literally stopped in the middle because there's a thread going across it. Um, this is ooh, Gothic, is the fabric. Um, and it is from Picture This Plus. I used to have the tag on this desk somewhere. And after I'm done rolling this, while not killing my needle minder, uh, I can tell you probably more accurately, I feel like it's a 28 or a 32, but I honestly don't remember. 
I don't even want to look over there right now. It's 28 or 32. I'll figure that out by the next video. Um, I do like working on this piece. My problem is it is an, on a very dark fabric, so I need to either have an under light, a piece of white paper, or just be in perfect lighting, which I don't always have. Um, but I do really love it. So I just need to work on it and get it done. Okay. But that one will be coming home with me because I said so. And I need the scroll rods. Mainly to show my dad what I'm talking about because he doesn't understand how my... Uh, those are the J-A-T or Just a Thought needlework um, stretchers. And I'll show you the other part of it if you haven't seen my previous videos here in a second. Um, so this one, also with a new needle minder, um, this is from True North Needle Minders, let's take the needle off of it, it's a little corset, I thought it was kind of cute, I don't know, I don't know my, my style, I see it, I wanted it, I don't know how it got here, um, but this is, um, a personally made, I guess, um, chart it's not for resale as far as I know but if you really want to know where to find it let me know I'll s I'll direct you to the person but this is going to be um the cubone chart um for Isaac um he loves cubone and pretty much it's a lot of DMC 310 background so that's literally what I worked on um I worked on this during a Wow, I have not been stitching for a while. Um, none of our stitch weekends in cross stitch finish line. And I needed something easy, so I just stitched a whole lot of black stitches. Um, and I started to finally hit something, which is nice. This is the top of a bone. But these are the Just a Thought uh, stretchers. This is not taut right now, as you can tell. Um, I didn't want to stretch it too much. Um, I know she's using the Velcro now um, instead of the blue painter's tape, but I didn't get that yet, so we're just using blue painter's tape. So I have not had an issue with the, the painter's tape yet, um, so I'll probably just keep using that till I run out of it, which it's around here somewhere. That's where that tape measure went. Okay, okay we're going to put that over there. Anyways, Cubone, done. Woohoo! Okay. Next one. Next whip. Woohoo! I forgot I put this needle minder on here. This is also a new one. Alright. Tiny bit of haul. Also from True North Needle Minders. It's my sparkly kitty with a hat. If it has a hat, I love it. Um, and it's really cool, the backs are like little, cute little things, magnet, what the, I think they're adorable. Anyways, there was a reason that was on there. It was holding a needle. Okay. So this is my bump in the night. Um by Prairie Schooler, and there we are, look at that, isn't it great, I'm almost done with this guy, Oops. almost done here, I ended up working down here, and there's a random foot, because why, who doesn't love a random foot, for those who like the up closeness, there we are, but yeah, this is another mania start, so look at me go. I'm working on things. This guy's coming home with me, too. I like it. Just start a pile for everything that's going home. Uh, let's call it on myself as I'm playing with fabric because I have permanent markers next to my cross stitch. Even now. Alright, next one I worked on. Mania start as well. 
this guy right here, little parakeets. I use, and it is out of the cross stitch crazy. When uh, when were you? When were you printed? Why do they put stickers over the important parts? Does anyone understand that? Can I read through February 2016? There we go. So this is the cover. In case you're looking, you're more of a visual person. So that's out of the uh, magazine. We're going to open it up back to where it was because I will forget. And yeah. I think last time, if you guys saw this, I don't remember. And I didn't watch my videos to figure that out. I literally had here done. And I think here done. That was it. That's all I had. I had the branch done. Um, but now, let me get this. Sorry for what I just made nauseous. Um, I have a tail and start of a green bird. So yeah, I worked on that guy. This one's probably going to come home. <sighs> I need to limit how much I bring home. I'm only home for four weeks. But there's that one. We're gonna go in a different pile. All right. Now, now we get to the fun ones. In my humble opinion. So I didn't bring the chart over here, but I think you guys have probably seen this one before. But I, when I went to designer's desk, I did get, like I said, a couple of mirrors and or Corbett's, whatever. Um, and I ended up to connect it. I hate when I like in doing videos, which I never do obviously, and unthread my needle. Not even gonna try. Crystal Symphony managed to come home with me and this is where I'm at on that. So this is almost done. It's not wanted to go over here. Counted my way over, got the chandelier done, and one over one skin. Look at me go. Um, working on that as I go. Tons of beads. Plenty of sparkles. Um, this is on, in case anyone wants to know, a hand-dyed Joblin in raspberry light. It's a 28 count. And I love it. I think I've left this Q-snap on here too long and I'm afraid to take it off, but consequences. Um, so this piece <laughs> is huge. So if that's any indication of how large this is going to be. Yeah. Um, but I do have a pretty generous border on here, unlike some of my other starts. Um, but this... Look at this. It's wonderful. Tracy helped me pick this out. I don't know if Tracy remembers that because it was from a long time ago. Um, but I could not figure out which fabric to use. It The chart calls for like a white, I think, or a gray. I don't remember even. Um, but I was having trouble finding it. And I wanted to do something different. We're going to go with different. Um, so I did. Enter raspberry light. New needle minder. True North needle minders. It's Elsa. Yeah. Wow. I am really tired. Um, Anna's around here somewhere. Uh, and I have anger over there too. Not the same movie, but I have anger in from inside out um, over there from True North as well. But I'm not going to reach over there and get it because then you can see what's behind me. Anyways, so that's that one. Gonna cross it off. Crystal Symphony by Mirabilia. Alright. Now, probably the one that I worked on the most that you haven't seen. Also got from Designer's Desk, and this is for my mom. She wanted me to do it. Who am I to argue? 
This is called Snowmen All Around uh, by Glendon Place. First Glendon Place chart. And I I worked on this one the most. Um, they can care. Random snag nabbit. Um, yeah. So here is that. Let's check. Oh, we can turn so you can see. He is done, minus the beads, um, his buttons and his eyes are beads, so, and the back stitching's not done. Um, and I started this one, um, kind of going in clockwise fashion, but I got him done. Um, needle minders, True North needle minders, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Because why not? I'm not entirely sure why this one's on here. I think I just liked it. And Sky, little penguin, is from Joe. Joe Stitchy Stuff. I think Joe, that's what your name's called on Facebook. Um, this is from Joe. Good old Joe. Uh, and this one, that one lives on this project. I need to not stretch that. Okay. Um, that one lives on this project completely because it fits perfectly. Uh, fabric. I know it's on here somewhere. There you are. It is a 28 count Cashel Linen by Zweigart in Country Blue. Um, I really like it. I like stitching on it. Haven't had a problem with it. I don't know who's texting me, but they can wait. It's probably my mom. Sorry, mom. No, you texted me and I didn't text you back. Give me like a little. Give me a minute. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. That's a lot of sparkles. I added a whole lot of credit to my life. And actually, I don't mind it. I haven't had an issue with it, as long as I don't make the strands too long. Anyways. Mmm, this number all around. Yay! We're almost to the end of the list, guys. Alright. Now, the other one that I really, really love, that I worked on. Like, you know how you have that project that you're just like, I love this project. This one. I loved it so much I even did the edges. It is Halloween Fairy. Let's get this. Oh. Halloween, or, yeah, it's Halloween Fairy um, by Nora Corbett. It's on the Hirschner's website, is where I got it. I got the digital. And I did that in like two days because I have a problem and I love it. I'm missing a couple of beads still, not, I think I'm missing two packs of beads and that's it. Um, normally I have been waiting until the end to get them, but I was like, I, I, what if I hit the beads and I don't have them? Um, uh, speaking of that, I think these are the ones that go with it. Let's look. You can be with me while I figure this out. Um, three, six, shimmering, bittersweet. You are a winner. Like, seriously, so these are also came from the stash from the, the lady I was talking about. She has everything marked. Seriously. I don't even have to buy these. Actually, okay. Anyone watches these videos anymore? Why did they stop doing this? I love this. Like, I even have, like, another pack. Like, now they come like this. Where I spill them everywhere. But they used to come in a tube. I don't know. I have an obsession with things like this. Maybe this is why they stopped doing it. 
careful now. Like, it's a little too. I love it. But anyways, everything's all labeled and I'm not disorganized. And they're like real floss away bags. They're not even the ones that like are not real ones. But that's part of my haul. These. Um, these. Do these actually go in there? Four, two. No. These are the ones they sent me by mistake. I ordered black. How we got pink out of black, not entirely sure. I'm not going to question it. I'm kind of questioning it, but that's okay. Um, just like, where did it go? So, Halloween Fairy. I love this. I think I'm, I don't think I'm going to do this again one over one. I'm kind of putting that off until I figure it out. kind of want to just finish something. You know? Mm -hmm. And I had Lady Slipper. I worked on Lady Slipper by uh, Nora Corbett, and I had no idea where it went. It might still be in the closet. So yeah, I, I worked on it. I put in like 100 stitches, I think, into that. Um, not much. For B Floss Bingo, I did play that. That was fun. But yeah, so those are my whips. I know I worked on more. Like a little bit here and there. Um, so I had two new starts. Minimally. Um, one Haid. My fish is chilling on the heater. Weird. Uh, one Haid, no, two Haids. I started two Haids. Here's one of them. Okay, just kidding, not done. I started Mini Red Dragon. Is that cute? You will see that this is mostly white, and Isaac likes to call it my bird poo piece. It's kind of fun. It kind of looks like, I mean, I'm not going to deny that it doesn't look like that. But it's pretty much whites and yellows, and we'll get into the reds and stuff. Um, but this is the mini, so it's not super big. I have a generous amount of room. I was working on this hardcore for a while, and then, like I always do with Hades, I lose interest in them, and then I pick them up later. So I started a few things. Um, I guess if we're going to talk about whips, I started knitting. Like, taught myself how to knit because I didn't want to work on homework. And now I'm making a hat. It's a hat. It's the prototype for a real hat. Um, I live within probably 10 minute walking distance, literally across the park, um, of a needlework store called My Sister Knits. I know this is floss too, but I don't have that many things. Um, so I go there a lot more than I should. Like, I got this bag for all you knitters. It was a bag and I needed it. Um, I also had a credit there. Don't ask how that happened. Um, so I knit now. So that's what my life has been consisting of for the last week. Except for, like, most of last week. Um... I'm also, you guys kind of might remember, I have a Greyhound. Um, I'm making her a neck thing, a neck warmer. It stretches for those that are questioning things. Um, these are the needles I normally use. Yeah, they're Knitter's uh, Pride, the Dreams. I like the. That's Rebel. That potato right there is. Rebel. Remember cute little Rebel? She's great. Anyways. So I knit things. That keep me warm. 
I knitted a cowl too, and I didn't bring it in here because I was like, that's not. Um, it looks just fine. But, like, what am I doing? I don't need more projects. I do. So, knitting. Yay! Knitting is done. Anyways, okay. So, I talked about Marigold. So I'm looking down at my notes. So I guess we can move into some haul because I'm at 35 minutes and that's about what I would expect from myself. Um, besides some of the minders that I mentioned along the way, um, yeah. I want to do the year long. I haven't figured out how I'm affording that yet. I probably will start midway through the year or something. Um, but I really like the needle minder and I really like the theme. So I'm switching. I did Clouds Factory last year and then this year I think I'll do Frosted Pumpkin. I do like Clouds Factories this year. But I want to try something new. So I got the minder. Yay! Look how cute. So that, that's a thing. Oh, there's my blue tape. I also managed to get one of these. Um, it's the, like ammo case thing. I get emails from them all the time. I'm like, I, you have no idea what I bought this for. Um, so here are my sparkle. I need to get like three more of these. Um, so all of these are new. Yeah, so here's some more haul. Sparkle. Um, if you need help of where to get this, I can pull it from my order since I need to get another one eventually. Um, just let me know. So, okay. So here's another one. I got this lovely chart it's called Serpent, Steampunk Sea Serpent. Look at it! Look at it. I got it on Stash Unload, like, months ago. Um, and it came with the little beads that go with it. There you go. A couple little beads. Um, it does call for weak style works, but it does have DMC equivalents for most of them. Um, I, again, my stash acquisition that is at my house in Illinois. My mom looked through them for me and found a bunch of them. Um, I don't think it's all of them. See, I'm not even used to this. I don't even know how to hold this. Um, I know I'm missing a few and I'll probably just substitute the DMCs in. Um, there's only one that said there's no DMC equivalent and it was eggplant so it's a purple it's a little bit better um, more of a purpley color and anything else like I said I'll just probably use the DMC at this point but I have a lot of things look at me go um need to stop saying um I also managed from where's this from I don't remember, but I got a steampunk cat to go with the steampunk fish. Come on, brilliant. So, he's cute. He has a mask. Look at him, look at him, go! Okay. It's awesome. And also within that uh, stash <laughs> that I got, um, I was able to pull fabric for it. Um, I haven't measured it out yet, so... I know it fits on here, that's all I know. Um, and this is, like, she literally labeled everything. So this is a lamb's wool linen. Like, I can tell that part's not labeled, but it's a lamb's wool linen. Um, 24 by 24 piece, 28 count. Yeah. So it's gonna get done on this. This one's gonna come home with me because I don't, I might want to start it. 
I know I'm starting it next year at some point. I've already determined that. And right now everything fits in the bag. Which is nice. So... I only have 54 whips. It's totally fine, guys. I know that's like nothing compared to like Kate Stash Queen and Kate the Queen of Starts and a bunch of people, but it's a lot. For a college student that has like 20 more hades that I haven't even been kitted and I got two more a couple weeks ago. One of them was Isaac's fault. He bought it for me. He's cute. Um, so yeah, that's Steampunk Fish. Another one I got off of Stash Unload. Why? No idea. What do I do with the thread? Hold on. I'm having... Oh, there they are. So, it's called uh, Common Ground by Jess Nan. Um, what to say about this? I needed it. So I got it. I don't know. So the words... Day. We share with all who stitched before and those who follow after birds and flowers, peaceful hours, sunshine, tears, and laughter. And it came with the little, I don't want to say material pack because it doesn't include everything. But, so it's the literally the thing for it. Comes with the little beads, the charms, and... What are those called? Mm, I don't remember. I used to know. But some of the specialties. Um, the silks. Came in a little bag. Um, it has its own stitching instructions. Like, I have fabric. It's over there. From the giant stash of fabric that I still haven't completely seen. Um, yeah. Put it in the wrong order. Do you ever get OCD a little bit about putting stuff back? I need to be able to see which chart it is. Coordination. Okay, so just Nan. Next one. needed it. Yeah. What else can I say? I needed it. I mean... Yeah. Okay, we're done with that. Alright, the last thing... Is this the last thing? I'm surveying the chaos that's behind you guys. So it is there. First soda stitch, I'll get to it. Yeah. Alright. That's all I got. 43 minutes in. I'm rushing because he's going to come in here. Um, hopefully this will get uploaded in a timely manner. And I'll probably see you when I'm back in Illinois.